Hello Taurus, so welcome to you. How do they feel about your reading for this week? Let's go ahead and have a look at how your special person feels about you. Now Taurus, if you like this reading, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Comment below and let me know that you subscribed. I want to get to know you guys. All right. How do they feel about you? Who are you thinking of, Taurus? Keep them in your mind and in your heart so I can connect to you. And hopefully I can give you some personalized messages in this video. All right. How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel? We have Hand of Fate. That's beautiful. The Maiden. Wow, that's special. And the Moon. Ooh, the Moon. All right. Straight up. Taurus, I can see your person feels like you're their soulmate or a fated event in their life. It does seem to me that your person believes in destiny. And they believe in soulmates, twin flames. And now if this is not them, this will be you. You've got the maiden here. If you are the feminine, they feel that you are beautiful, attractive, like a goddess. Also, the maiden represents a new relationship that blossoms. So perhaps this connection with you and this person is actually feeling you maybe within the last year you have met and things have just progressed slowly forward or very quickly forwards the moon you're you will be guided through the darkness it does look like a very beautiful scenario you will be guided through the darkness meaning that you are each other's allies you kind of look after each other and you have each other's back which is beautiful again now let's keep going and get some clarifiers and see a little bit more about how your person feels about you. Taurus, to answer your emails and your comments, I do offer personal readings. So if you are interested in a personal reading, you can always reach out to me via email. Check out my website. It's in the description box below. All details are in my on my website in regards to my packages. I have long-term long reading plans. I have payment arrangement plans as well. So if you are interested in a reading, it is for all budgets. First up, we have King of Pentacles, which is interesting. King of Pentacles is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn male. It doesn't have to be. Just someone who's very um, stable, basically. Someone very financially minded. King of Pentacles could also be someone like um, an accountant, a banker, someone who's very close to their, uh, I guess, their finances and career. Because this person is very focused on his finances and career. So it could very well be that you and an earth sign male or you are the earth sign male. Um, so definitely hand of fate, king of pentacles, someone very grounded, earthy, that wouldn't normally believe in anything spiritual perhaps or anything very, um, I guess, to do with destiny and fate and all that. They actually um, are quite bedazzled by, you know, your meeting, how they feel about you and how things are progressing forward. So it's almost like you in their life, is actually changing the way they perceive the world around them. Next up, the Maiden, Three of Cups. Three of Cups is like, let's get together and have a drink or coffee. Let's go and enjoy ourselves. This person really loves spending time with you. You're probably their favourite pastime, just hanging out with you, being with you, talking to you, chatting with you. Whatever your communication with them is like, that is their favorite thing to do. Three of Cups is like, I really enjoy your company and I really just want to be with you. Now, um, Nine of Cups with um, the Moon. You will be guided through the darkness with Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a card of, um, you know, wishes coming true. Feeling really good about life right now. I feel like um, 
you know everything that i've ever wanted in a partner is in you you are my biggest ally you are my most fun time you know and it, it's just quite a beautiful start to a reading let me tell you taurus let me know what this means and how it resonates does this feel right to you about you and your person am i answering your questions comment below i'd love to know all right next up we have the meeting basically in a public place so perhaps you met in literally a public place could be a workplace scenario because king of pentacles is a boss type energy someone who is up in the hierarchy of their industry okay and the garden is a public place so you could very well be saying we met in a public place or we enjoy going to public places together the garden is literally a garden as well it's lush and it's fertile and it's full of growth it also talks about expanding growing developing okay so it could very well be that as soon as you met you knew that this is a significant person in your life and you don't feel like you're going to be letting go of them anytime soon and they feel exactly the same about you how perfect the hearts with the maiden and the three of cups so this is saying that <laughs> honestly your person is in love with you this is love this is like soulmates two four equals six two is the the soulmates card and the four is building growing developing and uh, evolving together and let's just work on this love because we are each other's person next up we have the anchor your person has no intentions of going anywhere Taurus because the anchor means I'm so stable and I'm so grounded and I'm totally hooked on you completely totally and utterly and nothing ever is going to take that away so wow 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 Taurus you and your person are very very destined and I wouldn't be surprised if your soulmates or even twin flames at this point because this reading points to a beautiful long lasting love scenario we have money king of pentacles with money makes a lot of sense it also gives me a lot of workplace vibes so it could very well be workplace could be that you work together intend to work together have very similar um work and career histories it could very well be that you just have a lot to talk about when it comes to work or even money king of pentacles and the money card go hand in hand it means that you are you know very good at budgeting together and if you're not at that point yet it could very well be that you're just going to look after each other in that way uh, as well as a normal relationship uh, money could also be saying that you're going to be receiving a lump sum from somewhere misfortune with the hearts I need to look into that but I feel that you have you both have very um, traumatic pasts and it could be something that you talk to each other about in regards to past relationships not working out being broken hearted you know maybe even cheated on or broken down uh, in a family or divorced or separated or something along those lines but the misfortune card with all these cards are saying that you're very supportive of each other through thick and thin death with the anchor and the nine of cups and you will guide each other through the darkness it could very well be saying that either you or your person or both of you are still going through a separation or a divorce okay and that is something that you are supporting each other in okay taurus um i really want to get my um here it is my love cards from doreen virtue all right let's go ahead and get some love vibes in this reading and get some more info uh, in regards to your connection obviously not all these messages are for all of you pick and choose what feels right to you okay because your intuition will tell you what is the right you know message for you and your person okay worth waiting for now I've, i'm getting an intuitive message that a lot of you have actually said 
to your person or your person has said to you that I've waited my whole life to be with you or to find you or to, you know, uh, find someone exactly like you. Uh, I don't want to let you go. So that's just for some of you. Okay, worth waiting for. Heart to heart conversations. How is that so specific to what I've been saying? Talking to each other about your difficult times, what you've been through. Very supportive of each other. Very caring, healing. I feel this is that is the perfect word. It's a healing connection that you are both undergoing. And I feel that it is almost like learning how to love but through each other that may even be why your soulmates are twin flames that you're here on earth your souls have connected once again after lifetime after lifetime to teach each other how to love again to open your hearts to somebody again after being broken after being patched up and sewed up and and healed up and all the scars that your broken heart has from all the past situations and deceit and hurt you're here to help each other through all that and to teach each other and to heal each other and to open your hearts to each other because it, it is just such a healing and safe connection that you have with each other. Romantic feelings, how beautiful. It's undeniable, Taurus, that this is a beautiful connection between you and your person. How do they feel about you? They're crazy about you, Taurus. They're absolutely besotted by you. They've been waiting their whole life to meet you. And finally you are together and they're not with the anchor going to let you go. You are guiding each other through thick and thin, through dark times, through good times. And you are enjoying the good times together and dealing with the bad times, rolling through the punches that the universe may throw towards you because this is a beautiful destined connection. All right, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed. Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and always stay beautiful. Bye for now.